All right, so 6B. So this is a double failure test. Price came back twice just to get rejected. Think of the failure test like a ping pong ball. If price doesn't bounce back like a ping pong ball, it's not a failure test. It must fail big time. And what is failing? Price discovery. Lower prices, the attempt to make lower prices, that's what fails. When I have enough information, well, that point to me, in this case, it would come probably after this one, but definitely after this one. At this point, that's 126. My signal came at 128. This is a price difference. And this is an important concept too, please. If you want more certainty, you have to be content with the worst price. If you want to get a better price, that goes with less certainty. So if you want to go long here, BT will not give you a signal here because BT was built for one thing, to give you the reemergence of momentum. You will understand that there's many other opportunities to go to enter the market on other candles too. So this is one such situation where you may want to use ProSTR and to say, you know what, I'm ready to go long. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Now, having said that, if you are the more cautious or if you just want total discipline and just go to reemergence of momentum and nothing else, that's a completely valid venture. But I'm going to wait for my job. This is when my job is coming up and I'm going to go along here. That's perfectly fine. Here is the result of sticking to what BT is giving you. And here is what I'm teaching you today, a little bit more extra, a little bit more insight of how to read price action. Also, if your BT signal was preceded by this, what I just described to you, failure test number one, confirmation, breakout number two, penetrating the Keltner number three, pulling back, this here is number five, event number five. How many pieces of information do we need to have confidence in taking this, this opportunity? Okay, 6E. A past two weeks, the currencies, as you can see, were doing the same thing. So here we go. Failure test. First pullback. Second pullback. And then BT gives you the third pullback. Other information, you see larger chart, same story, breaking out volatility compression. Swiss franc. Okay, Swiss franc, there are two kinds of pullbacks, simple and complex. Uh, this is a simple pullback, and this is a complex pullback. Sometimes it happens that it's a pullback trade. I get the signal to go long, I go long, and then this happens. Price comes back, stops me out or doesn't stop me out, but gives me a headache. Most often, it turns out that what happened was just a simple pullback transitioned into a complex pullback. Now, sometimes with practice and with screen time, we develop the ability to expect just to get ready for the possibility of this transition before it happens. And this is documented in a video when we talked about this a few days ago. Swiss franc was coming down, then gave us this. There is a possibility that this will transition into a complex pullback, which means I'm not going long yet. The point is, you should always be aware that any pullback can transition into a complex pullback, but that's not the end of the world. It's uncomfortable, definitely painful, but pain is what we pay for what we make. Check this out. A magazine cover of a perfect failure test. And this candle, this is four hours. So when this was building, you had time. The pattern is here. And the way, the technique, the Sherlock Holmes part of how to read details that the universe or price action sends us, this is what we're talking about in this session. And here is the four-hour candle, after which one-hour opportunity here, or something anyway here, all right? 
simple pullback transitioning into a complex pullback in front of our eyes. ES. Just to show you the fact that consolidation areas doesn't ha don't have to be sloping. This one here happens to be horizontal. It deserves the same level of attention. If you want to call it breakout trade, you see RBT doesn't make a difference between breakout trade and reemergence of momentum based on whether the consolidation area is sloping or not, because it doesn't matter. There is a trade there for us, a 1R trade. Okay, example for a horizontal consolidation area. All right, next one, GC. Oh, this is just a pullback now. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but this is a situation which is still potentially coming up. What we do know is that this is a horizontal consolidation. This is a sideways market. Every sideways market, sooner or later, what will happen? Price will start to step outside and maybe for a while it will not look back. So it will break out, in other words. And then the question becomes, okay, if it does break out sooner or later, which way do you think it's going to go? Because there might be a trade there for us. And which way do you think it's going to go is something that we can deduce with certain likelihood of the higher time frame. This is a failure test. Ping pong ball, green candles, bottom tails. If you tell me this is going to break to the downside, I say, the, the possibility is certainly not zero. It is certainly possible. Yes, it is possible, but it's not very likely. It's much more likely that we're going to go here. And then after some monkey business, we're going to break out. Read the information on the higher time frame. By the way, there is a failure test here on the weekly. When was this? In January 24. This is the big event, November 1st, 2023. It's in the video. This is a failure test. Also shows you that a failure test doesn't mean that it needs to be the exact price by tick. It just means that uh, an attempt to break down has failed. Also, instant reversal. There is a very large red candle followed by a very large green candle followed by a very large bottom tail. This tells you on the weekly time frame that we're not going down. That's all you need to know. RTY, last one probably. Okay, this is our famous six sigma move yesterday. Look at this. Think about the time frame for our chart. I'm not saying this was an easy trade, but what I'm saying is that this is a volatility compression. This is very tight consolidation, each candle being four hours. You had enough time to decide what to do if the top of this tail breaks. This is what happened. And this is what happened in the context of the weekly action. All right, so that was the RTY. Silver is... Uh, Silver is an important opportunity for us right now. This, is, this has been analyzed a million times on the premium video, so I don't want to repeat all this again. But I want to show you just price action details, which either invalidates or validates our trade idea. And our trade idea is to go long, is to be long or go long. And this is what we got yesterday, this bottom tail. Look at the failure test, please. SI, it was emphasized in the video at that time that this is a failure test. One, two, three, four candles, green candles. This is a ping pong ball. Look at what happened. We have the Kautner. We have price. We follow price. We have the mathematical tools to monitor the market. And the elephant is moving in the sand on the beach. And the elephant cannot help but leaving some traces. Look at this. Long tail, ZF. This was one of our success stories last week. Horizontal consolidation. People in the video, people on premium knew about this in minute detail. Okay. Bottom tail, 
horizontal consolidation, BT doing it, trading 101. Yes, well, nothing is easy, but it doesn't get simpler than this. Breakout trade, and here, this is the future. This is the pullback trade triggering. So this is still coming up, and we expect further upside on this market. 